This playthrough is rated E10+. Be sure not to drink the water, it's a mite salty. Greetings and salutations viewers, and welcome back here with another episode of Front Mission Gun Hazard. In the last episode, we started our new mission, we headed to the far north, and uh, as cold as it seems, it seems like the water seems to be warm enough to not be freezing over. I guess we wanted to drink that vodka anyway. Anyway, we're dealing with some uh, pirates that have been dealing with the government. Kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Trinidad and, and areas like that in the Mediterranean. So uh, just a futuristic version of that. I guess pirates never change, huh? But anyway, let's head on to the shop we've now unlocked and see what's available here. I don't think there's much, if I recall, uh, that I need to buy anyway. So uh, let's take a look, though. See what we got. Yeah, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, yeah, I don't have any new mechs. Uh... Shield unit? No, don't even worry about that. No dash unit, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, see, I don't think I need to buy anything. I mean, I could buy the Bazooka 3, but that's still a bit of money for something I'm not really utilizing. Mainly the homing missiles. Yeah, I know Bazookas are stronger overall, but still. Let's see. Yeah, I can buy repair 3s. Don't really need to use that right now. I'll go to another place to buy ammo. Oh, we can upgrade our equipment, too. Let's see. Oh, we could buy the shotgun three. I might go ahead and do that. I know we get a shotgun three a lot later, but the shotgun is just such a useful item to buy. But we can upgrade the shotgun three here, so we can get a magazine improvement, a power improvement, and reload time improvement. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, buy those. We do have some extra cash. You know, I've been saving it for a rainy day, and we can buy. Uh, the Jester 2 for Leuven if you want to use him, but uh, I would suggest not. I mean, that's up to you. If you want to try using him, you know, go go right ahead, but uh, no, no, I will, I will not. All right, I guess that's it. So, yeah, not much, but hey, just a better place to uh, set yourself up. Ooh, we've almost got 100% on our current body, and the Vernier's got some buildup, but uh yeah, I was close to getting 120% for the <clears throat> napalm, but just like that, just like that shotgun, man. Oh yeah, because we used the punch so much in the previous episode, we've almost maxed out the the uh, hard punch, so it does a decent amount of damage now. And I think I want to, for this mission, go and swap in Axel. So we can give him a bit more uh, levels if we can. Just have to be careful about healing him too much like I did last time, but uh, I do need to buy him. If I am going to use him more often, I'll have to save some cash just to uh, um, uh, actually use him without having to heal him every other second. You know what I mean? Otherwise, I'll waste a lot of money just on on uh, uh, refills, you know? So. Alright, well anyway, let's head on to the next location. Let's see. I want to go this way. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're going to do them all anyway. It's just... <clears throat> anyway, it's the Levi Bay Bridge. Yeah, the translation patches. You can tell it's there, but it's like cutting off the Levi part. But that's fine. This one's pretty straightforward. Uh, we just need to... This mission, we need to protect uh, protect someone. Ray, but this one shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. We're at the bridge. What are your orders? I've received word that one of our supply convoys is under attack. The food it carries is vital. Our people are already on the brink of starvation. We can't let them get away with... Uh, we can't let them get away with this. Sorry, I almost did the wrong voice for a second. Protect that convoy at all costs. All right, let's get a move on. Don't let them get to the tracks. Roger. All right, so we have to protect the convoy. So what we have to do is basically kind of... Uh, um, go in between the different... Uh, um, trucks and just make sure that, uh, whoops. Make sure that they're being protected. So we just have to kind of run along the line and just, uh, if we try, we have to try to protect them because you get more money if you can, uh, uh, save all the trucks. So as long as you just kind of move back and forth, uh, and hit them, you should be fine. So, whoops. Yeah, the only problem with when you when you start dashing is you start uh um, you get in a like a you're basically stuck in dash mode until you like jump or something like that. So you have to be kind of careful. All right, front's fine. Oops. Yeah. 
Yeah, shotgun's doing a lot of damage, so not one-shotting things, but we're getting pretty close. Oh. Oh, wait, no, that one's fine. I was wondering, I was thinking it was uh, taking a ton of damage, but... Yeah, if we save more trucks, we get more of a reward. Obviously, we lose if all the trucks die. Um, yeah, for... Uh, I'm doing pretty decent damage with a shotgun against uh, level... Um, armor 3 creatures. Not bad, not bad at all! What do you want with the convoy? Forget the convoy! Our orders are to secure this bridge! What's this, an invasion? What? Why are pirates getting so uppity? Invade this dump! Huh! On the contrary, since our new weapon is complete, this bridge will be its first target! Weapon? Well, this is war, so we got a ton of weapons, so... You know. Don't break your head over it. You won't live long enough to interfere with our experiment. Commander Felder demands it. Felder? She's here too? God, should have kept my mouth shut. No matter, you'll die here. Isn't it kind of funny how like uh, villains of these games just uh, kind of just make a lot of mistakes? Anyway, this is a mini boss here. Uh, Commander Von Zer, he's got four armor, 768 experience drop, 5,760 cash drop, and he has a Vulcan gun. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, not much to him. So, yeah. Oh, one of my trucks was almost dead. New weapon, huh? This could be trouble. There will be trouble! Alright, let's see how many we saved. I think I saved all of them. So as long as you just go back and forth, you should protect most of the trucks. Yep, four rescues. So you get a thousand, uh, thousand cash for every truck you save. So, which is a nice little... Uh, oh no, it's 1,500 per, per truck. I don't know why I said a thousand. I do math good! But yeah, and we'll also get a decent amount of experience, uh, seminar experience for saving each truck, so. I get a level for Axel. Yeah, I did. I don't remember taking him, too, him taking too much damage during this fight, so. Incoming kind of message. All supplies have reached their destination. Your deeds have saved many lives. Oh, thanks. And probably be a good time. It probably would have been a good chance to save it before doing the trucks, just in case you messed up. Not that it's a big deal, but you know save it we still have a lot of work ahead of us they said something about testing a new weapon right think we could be looking at another particle cannon they're just all over the place maybe felder's involved in this too we better we better get going sir yep so where do we head off to next well the red shark fleet why don't we do you want to deal with some more underwater stuff All right, uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember if I can actually use an ally in this, because they can't really do underwater sections well, so. Mm. Uh, I could switch back to Brenda just uh, for this part. I, sh I think this mission could probably still use one. I know, I think it's the next mission or the uh, mission afterwards where you can't help at all. I'll leave on just in case, but uh, but this one's not too difficult. Yeah, remember, if you heal your ally, it does cost you fuel as well, so, but anyway. Albert, I'm picking up an SOS. What's the source? A Russian tanker in the Kara Sea. They're under attack by red sharks. Why does everyone in this game have, like, a version of red in their, like, tile? Like, crimson blow, red sharks, stuff like that. Hmm. I mean, red is a very prominent color. It just seems like everyone's using it or whatever. Tell them we're on our way. But that's in the middle of nowhere. And then Reganef is getting his money's worth from us. Get ready to deploy the Vonzers. I understood. Uh, we'll be ready in one minute. Is that the ship that's attacking the tanker, sir? Ship? Ah, oh, hell. They've got a whole fleet out there. Where the hell are these guys getting their resources? Yeah, they're just pirates. Yeah, pirates life for me, I guess. Say, our Navy uses ships like this. Albert, target the ion nozzles. The what? The what, the what, the what? You know, the sweeps, the bleeps, and the creeps. <laughs> Sorry. The great structures on those warships. What will that do? Sink them? No, but they'll be temporarily mobilized. Let's try it. Some ships have nozzles on the other side, too. So, yeah, we need to... Don't think I'm up to this one, man. You're right. We'll draw for now. I thought it was this mission that you couldn't join. This one and the next one, I think, are the same. So yeah, that all we have to destroy is those green things on top and then go underwater to finish them off. So that's one. Any effect? Keep going! Some ships may have more than two nozzles. 
All right, and yeah, we're just wrecking guys with a shotgun. Oh, right, uh, enemies, uh, we got Seeker Bonzers, and that's what these guys are, so. But that's pretty much it, so. But they will spawn, keep spawning, so we just gotta keep moving, so. Yeah, underwater sections, unfortunately, you can't really use your allies for, which kind of, kind of sucks, but, I mean, Brenda, you can still use Brenda because she's a flying unit and her bombardment does not require her to be in the water, um, but. Still. But Brenda doesn't get anything from levels, so there's no point in bringing her anyway, so. I mean, yeah, she could do a little bit of extra damage, but at this point, I'm killing things so fast that uh, it's almost better to bring Brenda when you have uh, bosses and stuff like that so she can help with the little bits of extra damage. All right. Should be a couple more. Because basically what we're doing is we're going across the ships, destroying the top bits, and then we're going to go under sea after we get to the end. So let me take a look at the map. Oh yeah, there's no enemies on this level, by the way, so. But yeah, luckily the game tells us uh, where the objectives are. Hey, the fleet's breaking up. Yeah, those ships are a nightmare to handle without their nozzles. Dang nozzles. All right. Let's get to the end so we can start uh, sweeping for the uh, bottom piece. Man, shotgun is so awesome. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, I like the napalm, but, uh, yeah, just, you can't just not help. Whoops. I forgot how, I forgot how floaty you are in the water, despite us being a uh, heavy mech like this. So, yeah, you don't, uh, as long as you press the jump button, you will pretty much go up. There's, like, nothing to really worry about here. Whoops. Yeah, don't worry about it. You won't, as long as you're paying attention, you won't worry about it. Now, I'm just taking the hits at this point. Can't really block while you're floating in the water, so. Although, man, that, that destruction damage is, is adding up pretty quickly, as you can see. Oop. Yeah, unfortunately, like I said, you're, you're really floaty, so. Alright. Just keep taking out their nozzles. No! Hey, now I have an excuse not to block. I can't actually do it in the water, so. Aren't we done yet? Keep it up! They'll be in total disarray before you know it. All right. Yeah, these guys will still want to lay off. But we're getting experience for it, so why not? Keep going, keep going in the water. I hope we don't want to fight any mermaids or anything like that in there. Well, it depends on which type of mermaid. There's the, there's the, um, the mythical, the original version of the mermaid, which is a dangerous creature that'll drown sailors, or there's the modern one, which is just, it's just beautiful women, and they're all perfect and nice, and they sing, sing to help you out, and nothing else, nothing bad comes of that at all. Albert, you're almost there. Got it. Ah, this fight's good, uh, this. The enemy's fleet's dead in the water. Come pick me up then. I'm beginning to think we bit off a bit more than we could chew here. Man, that took, I got took a lot of damage, and there's not much I could do about that. I mean, I probably could have prevented quite a bit of it, but still. But either way, we got a decent amount of money for killing all those guys and disabling the fleet. Awesome. All right, and the money for doing, or experience for doing that. Yeah, unfortunately, since Albert, or Albert had to run off, uh, not Albert, uh, Axel, he doesn't get experience, so. But anyway, getting level, level 23, we can now buy level four stuff now. The Great Alien Launcher and Upward Vulcan, so. Once again, we're obviously facing more than just a simple terrorist organization. Think they have something to do with the society? I'm sure of it. In that case... All we gotta do is catch their boss. We'll get out get the information we want out of him. Easier saying the done off here. Yep. Anyone let's head on to the car. See, this is another one where your allies won't be able to help. So, might as well switch to Brenda, even though she won't be able to do much anyway. I mean, I could do none, but it doesn't... There's no reason not to have someone, even if it's just Brenda. Because, why not, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, we're good to go. There's nothing I really need to change. Yeah, God, I had to heal up a lot. I'll have to, I'll have to go back to al Hari after this to uh, heal up again. Which, uh, interesting. We say that because... Well, let's just get to the story first, but... Think there's anything here? Alright, this one's an underwater mission, so... But this one's a... Uh, I believe this is just enemies in this place. Yeah, enemies, no... Uh, uh, 
and no treasure or no uh, items either. So, but we got a seeker vonzer or sorry, well they're kind of seeker vonzer sort of, but they're called polar vonzers. As you can see, they're they're a little a little bit different. Um, I get a decent amount of experience too, 304. Uh, but yeah, seeker, uh, sorry, polar vonzers and gun emplacements are what we've got here. So, all right. Yeah, they kind of have this, like... Yeah, they're supposed to be able to swim perfectly through the water, but, uh... Yeah, look how floaty we are in this game. It's just... I mean, it's not, not, not unwieldy or anything like that. It's just... We just... We basically have free movement in the water. Man, it's like I'm made out of helium or something like that. I don't just like floating to the top, you know? Yeah, it's nice having a pretty big magazine for your shotgun too, so you can just just uh, blast away all day and not worry. I wonder how much percent. I didn't even check my percentages on my weapon. Just like just like ho hum ho hum, just blasting away with my shotgun here. Nothing nothing to see here. All right. I'm surprised you made it this far, but no Vonzer could stand in the way of my Albion. Isn't Albion the like the fictional version of Britain or something like that? So, are you from Britain, or are you just did you just use that name because it sounds cool? I don't know. Anyway, we got boss time or mini boss time against the Albion. He's got armor level five. Um, he's in a version of the Polar Vonzer, and he'll just shoot his weapon at you and float around. So, unfortunately, being underwater does make it a little difficult for me to. Um, uh, block, so I have to basically avoid him. But we have our homing missiles and uh, shotgun ready to go. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I also dropped mines. I'm trying to think what else he does. Oop, taking a few more hits than I should have. Yeah, luckily you can just either missile them or uh, shoot the uh, them out of the sky. So. Should almost be done. Oh, got me with a seeker missile. Or seeker mine. Should almost be done. No! Okay, wait, we're done with this mission. So let's get out of here. Well, we're almost done anyway. <coughs> Whoops. Thought I'd taking more damage than I should be. There we go. And we're done, so. Yep, nothing to it. Yeah, just another kind of uh, run into blast everything. Oh, yeah, uh, Albion, he had a level 5 armor, 4,864 experience. He had the Seeking Blast in Mine Lair, and he get, drops 23,440 23, cash, so. And he counts as one of the kills, so he doesn't have a separate, uh, separate moniker for that, so. All right. Well done. Now how about a little break? Nah, we've gotta keep I gotta keep gotta keep swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Alright, let's have to the uh Yayachev. Ghost Yayachev. Vayachev. Yes, I can I can speak Russian. What you didn't know that? Anyway, for this mission we actually want, do wanna bring Axel because there's story plot. You don't have to, but you know, you get a little bit of story stuff if you bring it with you. So uh, let's see, 81%, we're vault, by the, it's funny, by the time we max this out, I'll bet we'll, we'll get the new mech by then, so. Uh, let's see, uh, fi wow, 55% already, that didn't take very long for us to hit, a uh, almost hit 100% with this thing, so. Um, uh, yeah, homing missiles aren't doing too bad. I wish those, I wish those leveled up faster, but. They are stronger than, uh, whoops. They are stronger than your primary weapon, so it makes sense that they wouldn't hit it max that quickly, so. And the cost that comes about with uh, doing that, so. There's been a change of plans. We've been informed Red Shark forces are coming ashore from the Car Sea. Find out where they're landing. But I already destroyed the, everything in the Car Sea. 
One thing, sir. Did you hire a mercenary named Janois? Is there a problem? Problem? His buddy Bishop burned my damn village to the ground. Well, how, would he, how is Reganev supposed to know that? Janois has been an invaluable asset in our efforts against Red Shark. Whatever the case may be, we are grateful for his assistance. He is being hired for the job, so, you know, we have to keep our personal feelings aside. Strange. I thought Janois was trying to get closer to the society. Maybe Red Shark is an independent operator after all. I doubt that. How should I know? Only Janois has the answers. Well, sitting around and talking about it isn't going to get us anywhere. Let's go! Alright. I got contact on radar. Looks like an enemy landing craft. Let's see if we can catch them before they get away. Maybe we can squeeze some information out of them. Alright, so this one's a pretty straightforward mission. There's only one enemy type here, laser monsters, the olive color. And we just have to basically go right. So, just avoid the enemies. Uh... And just keep going. So, come on, come on, Axel. What the? Bishop. <laughs> I'd say, mate, yes, yeah. This is a fair warning, mate. Stay the hell out of my way. Whoop. All right. Now let's just deal with the uh, the units here. Whoop. Yeah, deal with these. Uh, them and their lasers. Yeah, you just float, uh, Albert. I'll take care of all these guys. I just want you to get to the experience until I have enough money to buy you a Mac. Maybe by the end of the game. Because I'm not grinding for cash. I'm a, I'm a, a little under... Well, I mean, I have money, but what I mean is if I buy that, that's going to take a huge chunk of my cash. Albert! That destroyer off the cape is open to fire! What the... Whoa! Uh-oh. No! Yeah, this, this thing actually sucks for an ally here. Oh, man, I'm getting hammered bad! Yeah, the only bad thing about bringing Albert here is, uh, or Axel here, is uh, he's going to take a lot of damage from uh, his missiles. It's easier for me to avoid them because I know what I'm doing, but he doesn't. So, basically, just as long as you don't jump because they... He's running into the things. I, I brought him for story purposes, but maybe I shouldn't have. He's making me waste all my money on uh, repairs and everything. Ugh, that's, that is really annoying. All right, now we can move. Yeah, basically the way to avoid them is just move back and forth. Don't even worry about like uh, um, trying to jump over them because of the whole firebomb thing. So there we go. There we go. Uh oh. Is that guy stuck? Oh, there we go. Wait, please! I surrender. Get out of the Vonzer. Look, my systems are fried. I can't get the hatch open. But please, I'll tell you anything you want. All right, then. Where's your base? Does your base belong to us? We... Well? Well? You gonna tell us? Bishop! No! Forty bucks gone down! A, a, a hundred thousand in the bank! <laughs> Wait, where, where am I get? Why can't I get a hundred thousand? Where? What the hell are you doing? Well, you just weren't gonna waste them, in it. Want to make something of it? He surrendered, damn it. Now we'll never find out where they're hiding. Aw, oh, cries me a river. Yes, ain't the boss of me, ain't it? Yeah, uh, crack years now if Mr. Janois wasn't watching. Best luck next time, mate. Damn it, I was so close. Man, I just about had him. You weren't going to attack him or anything, dude. You, did, you almost died from the bombs. I was fine, but he is so low HP. If I'd bought him a new mech, yeah, he would have had the HP for it, but, you know, the cost of the repairs weren't even worth it for this mission. Dang it, Axel. Why'd I bring you for story stuff? Good work. Why? We still don't know where their hideout is. It's all right. We tracked the destroyer back to its base. Really? The coordinates come out to the point D9. An ice shelf in the Arctic Ocean. Talk about out of the way. Meet up with the rest of our forces at 1800 hours. We're preparing an all-out assault. Roger. All right, let's head to the ice wall. Ice wall 202. That's a very weirdly specific number for that. I wonder why it's called that for any chance, but anyway. All right, let's, uh, do I want to bring Axel again? He took so much damage during that thing. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess. I kind of want to level him up, sort of. It's just he's wasting all my resources to do it, so. Yeah, okay, we'll bring him again. The only problem is, is his best mech is like, what is it, 40... 40,000 or something like that uh, to buy him another one. I could go back to uh, the jungle area and buy it right now if I wanted to, but... Alright, well, let's do it. Looks like that's everyone. Let's get started. What's the plan, sir? We want you to lead an assault on their coastal defenses. Don't worry, though. We'll have the full backing of our armed forces in this. Good to know. However, the ultimate outcome of this mission still hinges on you. Bear this in mind at all times. We will. Truth is, I feel a little guilty. We should fight our own battles here. Men with homes and families shouldn't be out risking their lives. That's why people like us exist. Well, shouldn't they risk their lives if it's important to them, though? You know what I mean? Some things are worth fighting for, right? We got nothing left to lose. Dot, dot, dot. Let's go, Brenda. Huh? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Albert has a lot. Well, lost almost everything when you think about it, so... Listen up, Albert. This landing craft has been loaded with explosives. We... You want me to guide it to the enemy defenses, don't you? Well, hold it. He didn't say that. Brenda, hush. But... Correct. A group of our carriers will draw their fire. You should have enough leeway to reach your target. Dot, dot, dot. We must succeed at all costs. Understood. That's why we're here. Man, Albert's been on kind of like a death, uh, death, like, uh death wish here recently even though he's not actually acting like that it seems like he secretly is you know what i mean despite him having objectives to work towards it just seems uh i don't know it just seems a bit weird anyway let's uh continue on all right come on axel oh, oh yeah we got new oh new enemies here we got secret bonzers uh i think that's it there's not, no other enemies here sounds like there's some serious calm chatter or activity going on up there Blue. There may be trouble. There will be trouble. Oop. Albert, patch us in. Or patch us in, sorry. Roger. Sir, we're under fire! Keep it together. Full power to the anti laser shields. Uh oh. It's no use! Whoa! My god, the fleet. The carry fleet, they're gone. What? How? Whatever it was, it blew through their shields like nothing. No beam should have that much power. Guess we'll have to press on alone. Through that laser thing? Are you sure that's a good idea? Uh-oh. Yeah, I could block. I could do that. But that would mean I would have to actually pay attention to my surroundings. And I don't want that now, do you folks? Uh-oh. Albert's taking quite a bit of damage here. Might have to heal him again. The enemy's battery's just ahead. Roger. If you can clear their defenses, I should be able to land the Carbonera. All right. Let's see if we can do it. What the? Whoa! Wow! Oh, man. I'm getting him a bad. All right. We got to heal him again, so. Heal him with a regular heal. Oof. I hate wasting all this, but anyway, we have to destroy the uh, these things here. Man, I am taking a lot of damage. <laughs> what the hell? Damn it, the detonator is damaged. There's no time. Get out of there. We're not going to get a second chance. Can I set the bombs off manually? You're going to get yourself killed. It's the only way. Tell me what to do, Brenda. Dot, dot, dot. Brenda! Pop the hatches and shoot the core. Shoot the core? All right, here goes nothing. Make sure you don't get caught in the explosion. All right. Whoop. There we go. Scratch one battery. Yeah, even though we were caught in the explosion, we actually didn't get caught in the explosion. But anyway, oh yeah, all we had to do was just uh, uh, board the the craft to and on that spot to trigger it. When it showed that it was kind of weird how it's like as soon as it showed like a specific spot that you were supposed to like uh, lay uh, to do something with it, and all you had to do was just uh, 
uh, land on it. That's all you have to do. So for those who are curious, like what I did. So anyway, you got a decent amount of money experience for that. Yeah, level for uh, Axel again. Had to use a couple of heals on you, dude. Maybe I should go to a couple of weaker missions to level them up or something like that. On our own again. And we've only just gotten started. Man, what attack and we're toast. What are we gonna do? We might have a shot at it if we can find a way to block uh, block up all the X's too in front of their base. Of course. If we can trap them inside, we can take the fight to them. Start scanning for structures ASAP. I'll get ready. Okay. Ah, there we go. We got a we got a couple of different options our way. Man, seems like a seems like a bit of danger going on here. So, mm. okay. Well, anyway. All right. Now well, we got enough time. We can uh, do another mission, I guess. So let's see. Where do I want to go to next? Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go to the bay first. So. The Kovskaya Bay. So. All right, let's. Uh, do I want to keep Axel or not? Mm. Gotta keep. I'm almost out of. Well, I'm not quite almost out of heals, but I'm getting close. But then again, I can go go back to Al Hari to get a 10% discount on repair one and two. So, I think I'm almost out of fuel. Yeah, so I'll have to head back there anyway at some point. We spot enemy units entering and exiting from here. Think they've got an undersea exit? Multiple ones from the look of it. Just large enough for a Vonzer to slip through. Understood, I'll get ready to launch. But your Vonzer wasn't designed for a subsea uh, operation. Not that a little sealant wouldn't take care of, as long as I don't go too deep. I had a feeling you were gonna say that. Yeah, it's no, it's no problem. It's not like we're gonna end up by su another famous submarine that just occurred. Maybe. We're not using carbon fiber, are we? Don't think I'm up to this one, man. Yeah, so you can't bring Axel anyway. So I don't know why I brought him. I knew we couldn't use him in this one. So, all right. Anyway, this is another level with no uh, with no um, uh, items. Just uh, seeking monsters and gun placement. So, but we do have to we do have to destroy the um, uh, entrances, which are these. That's the first one. Keep it up. But yeah, we have to find these all, all over the map. We have to destroy ten of them. Is what we're trying to find. So. Oops, I didn't mean to go that way. And luckily, the uh, um, they're uh, highlighted. Well, they're basically highlighted like like enemies. So as long as you follow the uh, enemy uh, tags on the map, you'll know where to go. So I kind of like this section of the game just because it changes it up a bit. So instead of just being, I mean, yeah, you're going left or right or whatever. But now we're now we're uh, oof. now we're dealing with underwater uh, physics and stuff like that. So I like when games like long, uh, decently long games change up your um, what you do in them. That's four. How many left? Hold on, I'll scan the area. Well, basically our mini map is what she's doing. So she's telling us on her mini map like where uh, where it all is. So yeah, we're sealing. We're trying to seal these guys in, so we need to find all the the uh, doors and all that. But I keep running into their explosions. I mean, it makes it realistic, but I'll admit that is one of the more annoying mechanics of the game is having to avoid uh, enemy enemy explosions. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, also upgrade, uh, improve my um, uh, uh, homing missiles. I finished my scan. Five gates to go. Roger. I wonder how long it actually takes her to do that. Let's see. I want to go... Well, I have to go up here anyway, so... Uh-oh. Man, I am doing really bad avoiding these guys, but like I said, underwater is almost impossible to... But... Let's see. Yeah, you can block walls. You have to be standing, though. You can't be in the air to block, so... Which, technically, in the water, you're considered in the air, quote-unquote, for in terms of uh, how you block or whatever, so you just have to maneuver your way around and hopefully... Um, Hopefully you can get around it, so. Alright, another pocket over here. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Y'all being silly. Stop that. Oh, wow. I've taken quite a bit of damage. I have to heal, actually. 
Yeah, I've been getting the last couple episodes. I've been getting super reckless. Like, uh, well, other than the obviously the water making it hard for me to avoid, but still, I've been pretty reckless with my um, uh, my, myself. So I haven't been, I haven't because I've been doing been able to like kill things pretty quickly. I haven't been smart about my uh, uh, enemy placement and the fact I can just spam heals. You know what I mean? But I'd rather not waste the money if I can help it. All right, where's the other right, one over there? The big one. That's the big boy. Last one. Stay sharp. All right. So you want to go up? I guess we didn't have to. I could have avoided that because of the emplacements. Yeah, I don't. But that's that. They're not getting out of that one in a hurry. All right, we destroyed all of them. Let's take a look at our HP or money. Yeah, we got the money. Got the money. All right, good experience. All right, hit level 24. So now we can buy laser three and hard knuckle four whenever we have access to it. We're almost there, folks. Uh, level five is the final bit of a. Uh, um, uh, good work. Is the final bit of gear you can get in the game. So, all that's left now is the land exit. Yeah, which we could go to the Gilka, uh, Gilka Iceberg, which I think we will. Actually, I don't know why I went back. So, all right. Looks like looks like our uh, looks like we're about to. Uh, block these these people in the red sharks are causing us a bit of trouble as for pirates we're going to lock him in but what about that laser weapon that they have will we be able to find a way to avoid it or protect ourselves from it will we have to run across an estranged person to fight against it we'll find out next time in the next episode of front mission gun hazard thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time